guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to the squad please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment all right guys so the other day i was going through my instagram right just you know up and down just scurrying up and down and then i come across this picture on a page called burundi on map uh, if you don't follow them, I suggest that you follow them because they be posting some nice, great, amazing things. So shout out to Burundi on map. It's a nice way to connect with Burundians and see they post really nice things. So I really love that page. Anyway, so they posted this picture of this young young lady uh, at her graduation. Uh, she was wearing a short dress with, uh, uh, with uh, the graduation robe. And uh, the picture had a message on it. Um, apparently uh, about, about 100 people wanted the, to talk to the principal of the school uh, regarding the way that the young lady was dressed. Mind you, this dress is, it's not that bad, okay? It's really not that bad. It's beautiful, it's, it's nice, it, it goes with the event. I didn't find anything wrong with the dress. But apparently 100, 102 people found something wrong with the dress. So that got me thinking, um, why are we in our Burundian community so quick to judge on how young girls are dressed? Literally, it's always the, um, the adults. You know, men and women just literally would zoom in to see what somebody's wearing as if the way they are dressed has something to do with the person that they are the people that they are you know if somebody chooses to dress a certain way why does that bother you so much yes i understand in our culture you're not supposed to dress like this you dress like that which i truly don't understand um because at the end of the day, we both, not everybody want to dress the same. Like, I, for instance, me, I don't like the tenge. I am sorry. Like, I, you will not see me wearing tenge anywhere. Like, I don't. It's not in me. I didn't grow up wearing tenge. I didn't, like, even get tenge clothes. Unless it's, like, it's a design that I really, really, really love out of it. I'm not going to wear it. I am not going to put it on me. I am sorry, but I do use it to um, to put my baby to sleep, you know, on my back. I use it, it's very convenient for me, so it's really a nice way to for me to rock my baby to sleep. Other than that, you will never catch me wearing a tangy. I am sorry, like, no, it's not happening. And I am married, okay, I'm married. That does not mean I have to dress like, you know, the rest of married people in Burundi culture. Also, they do have uh, Invutano. Love, love, love Invutano. But that outfit has its own event. Its own event. It's not like you can wear anytime, any day, anywhere. Um, so what I'm trying to say is young women in our Burundi community are being drugged for the way they dress you know people who dress who choose to, to dress uh when the way they choose to dress when they're going out to dinner uh or to a club or to what is being uh is being received in a many burundian uh, in, in many adult burundians as as if they are hoes or they are um they have lost their roots or they have no respect for themselves or they have no values for themselves one thing i don't understand is the way one chooses to dress has nothing to do with their values or their characters if i choose to dress to wear a dress to go to the club I, wore, I, ch I specifically chose that dress for that specific event. If I choose to wear a bikini and I'm at the beach, I specifically chose to wear a bikini and go to the beach. I am not going to wear jeans at the beach. I am sorry. 
okay like i'm i dress accordingly and i love fashion i'm somebody who enjoys loves fashion so if you truly truly love fashion and and you want to explore yourself and you want to you know just it's a way to express yourself Fashion is one way to express yourself, to express who you are, feel free, wear whatever you want. But for some people, there are some people in our community, especially adults, especially those who have other kids, who have made their business, their job, like their full-time job, y'all, to come after these young Burundian girls. I don't like I don't like it okay I don't like it I don't like it like focus on your life you have a lot going on for yourself you got a whole family to worry about you got a whole that like, you got your own kids to worry about what if you just dedicate that time to your kids and make sure that they are getting the education they need uh, and you know they, they are meeting their needs instead of you spending so much time uh, and, and just tearing people down. Also, the, um, I'm saying this to say because there has been another post that this one person posted and uh, comparing Burundians to superstar when they are on social media, but they dress like, anyways, I'll post this, I'll post it somewhere or not on my page. This person said they, co they compared the Burundian girls to strippers. Let me say something. Let me tell you something about strippers. Strippers are making money, okay? Those people are making hella money. Some people got through school by stripping. It's a way to make quick money, quick cash, you know? Um, so far some people just, you know, people are gonna do what they're gonna do to survive, you know? School's not that, that cheap, okay? So, Shout out to strippers, okay? Because they're making money, they're living. Anyways, I, I don't say anything wrong. If you choose to live that life, go for it. Go, nothing wrong with it. It's not for me. If it's not for you, don't worry about it. Keep li keep moving, keep keep going. And if somebody um, chooses to dress a certain way and that way is not for you, keep moving. It's okay. It, Literally, like there's nothing wrong with um with you just skirting and not say anything. Just keep going. Like if it bothers you that much, I follow the people, the, the people. I follow the person that's that's making you uncomfortable. And to be quite honest, the way you dress says a lot about you. Either you're confident with your body, with your skin, you love the way the, uh, an outfit looks on you, and you just choose to wear it. Like it just says so much about you. So if you are not as secure um, as other people to wear to dress the way they want to dress, it's not for you. Don't worry about it. Don't dress that way. But you don't have to tear people down. To make uh, yourself feel better or to make yourself look good or to make yourself feel like you dress better than other people or you dress modestly uh, than other the other girls um, in our community if it's not for you just keep going it's not it's not for everybody you know it's not for everybody to wear a mini skirt or a mini dress or you know or you know something that does not agree with you it's not for everybody. So what I want to leave you with you guys is mind your business. <laughs> Seriously, mind your damn business. It's not for you. It's not for everybody. Uh, but on a real note though, I want to encourage everybody to uplift one another. That's one thing we lack in our community. I want to make sure that everybody is, is, is not make sure because it's not up to me but i challenge you to compliment your friend to compliment a girl you don't even know on instagram or in real life compliment congratulate somebody post somebody say congratulations repost their post like make sure that you are lifting one another we don't need to tear each other especially as women we have so much so much against us already 
we don't need to tear anybody down to make ourselves feel better. So with that being said, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. And with whatever you're doing, I hope I hope you find success. I hope you uh, find happiness. I hope yeah, it, everything goes well. Everything goes your way. <laughs> With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and 